I do not need the microphone. Oh. I'm just kidding. I'm going to use the mic. <laughs> My name's Philip Cohen. Ooh, a little mic. Again. Some of these little mics. Um, good evening, everyone. I'm so excited to be here up on stage. Um, when I get up here, my whole body turns into like a Jack Russell, you know? I'm just like, like if, if, if one of y'all came up on stage right now and was like, who's a good comedian? You are. I would just piss. <laughs> Brandy would come out, she'd be like, who riled him up? Piss everywhere, I know the comedian's not gonna clean it up. Um, so I am single. Uh, yes, thanks. I don't know why that renders a pause, but so be it. Uh, I actually don't even have any material on being single. I just see a lot of women. <laughs> How are you? How's it going? Um, no, I do. I'm getting a little older. A lot of my friends are married, um, so it's a little harder being single these days. I do have one friend that's single, a girl, um, so we're always like commiserating, like trading stories or whatnot. She had started dating this guy, and it was like, she liked him, it was going well, a couple of dates, so then like date three was coming up, I said, you know, it's business time, like, date three. She's like, yeah, whatever. So I call her afterwards the next day, and I said, so, you know, she was like, yeah, it was fucking horrible. And, and this is something that like, men and women can get along on a lot of things, but like, bad sex to a man, I was, I was like, were you in prison? I mean, I just, I mean, it went in, right? It's totally different for a woman. For a man, bad sex is like buying a lottery ticket and winning, but only like five bucks. You're like, all right, five bucks. You know, certainly wasn't bad. For a woman, bad sex is like, falling asleep on a beautiful day in a public park and waking up to a stray mangy dog licking your hand. Like at first, it kind of feels good until you realize what the fuck is going on. And then for the next two months, you can't get the dirt off your hands. Can't get the dirt off. Um, so yeah, so I'm single. So I finally, a few months ago, I finally met this girl. She was gorgeous. She was smart. Did I mention how pretty she was? So things were going well. I was all excited. It's like one of those women where once you start dating them, you just like scurry around to get your life in order, you know? <laughs> like before she notices. <laughs> she was amazing, you know? So date three, date three, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna throw down all my, you know, so I'm like, I'm gonna cook for you. I can only make one thing. So whatever, but I make it good. It's jambalaya, okay? So I make an awesome jambalaya. It's got like sausage and peppers and chicken. I'm not gonna go through the whole fucking thing, but it's spicy, it's got habanero. It's, it's, it takes a long time to make. It makes me look good, so whatever. So she's over at my house and I'm cooking the jambalaya, right? Chopping up the peppers, da da da, whatever. So once you get everything in there, it takes a little while, it has to stew, right? So she's like, so we got a, we have, we have like an hour or two? And I'm like, yeah, and she's like, and so she kind of gives me the, I'm like, awesome, you know? So we start fooling around. I'm like, this is great, because we hadn't done this yet. Hands start to explore, as they do. And uh, when I get kind of downstairs, she looks at me and she's like, um, oh. And I was like, oh, is there something wrong? She's like, no. Oh my God. No, no, wait. No, something is not, oh my God. So I hadn't fully washed my hands enough from the habanero pepper. Yeah. So, yeah, so this girl is like howling, okay? So I call a buddy of mine who's a doctor who might even be here tonight. I call him up and I'm like, bro, I just lit this girl's vagina on fire. What am I, and he's like, what are you talking about? I said, no, I mean, the, the, her vagina came in contact with habanero. And like, it's a long story, just fucking what do I do? He's like, why are you calling me? I said, you're a doctor. He's like, Philip, I'm a child psychiatrist. I don't pay attention. I don't know what the fuck you went to school for. So I'm taking her home. Yeah, it was a real quiet ride. 
And uh, she, she's like getting out of the car, and I'm like, so can I call you? And she just gets out of the car and cold slams the door, you know? So I was like, well, maybe I'll wait for the swelling to go down. I don't know. Maybe. It's hard. It's really hard dating being single in Charleston, this slutty, slutty town. I, uh, so I got lonely. Y'all are laughing because you know it's true. So I got, so got kind of lonely and I did the Charleston. I know. It's really bad. You shouldn't, nobody do it. And for those of you that think doing the Charleston is that flapper dance from the 20s, okay? That's not doing the Charleston. Doing the Charleston is going to a local dive bar, drinking until you're absolutely shitty, and then having sex with someone that you kind of know. Right? Aren't you Amanda's roommate? Or, no? Where do you, do you work at Juanita's? Yeah. So this girl takes me back to her place. Yeah, and um, things proceeded quickly. She was aggressive. She was like, give me the D. <laughs> give me the D. I'm like, oh, I think it. I like I was getting mugged. But, uh, <laughs> so things got going quickly, right? Then, like, as we're, like, going, I notice that she has a tattoo right above her vagina. Okay, now my mom's here, so I don't want to get too far into this. But, um, yeah, too far? I think we went too far already. Anyways, so, okay, so now I don't, I don't have any tattoos, okay? I'm not judging. I don't have any tattoos. I certainly don't have a vagina. But if I was, you know, if I had a badge and I wanted to enhance it with a tat, you know, what would I get? You know, so I was, I was thinking, I don't know, like maybe a waterfall. Like, no, because that would be like images of like purity and moisture, positive vaginal themes, is what I was thinking. But that's just off the top of my head. I don't really know what I would get. Okay? This young lady, this respectable dive bar patron, had a tattoo of the symbol for infinity. Yeah. My condom wanted a condom. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. I was sitting there, I'm like, what number of infinity am I? 497 came to my mind. I don't even know why, it just popped in there. 497, I was like, I guess I'm okay with that. So, yeah. So immediately, I'm like, I gotta get out of this, you know? And this is not normal for a guy. And I'm a bit of an actor. So I started channeling, like, what can I do, you know? So I realized that I need to fake my orgasm, quickly, you know? And I've never done that. Guys aren't used to faking. Um, it's the girls that do that. So, so I channeled, like, all the women that have slept with me, you know? So I started saying things that, like, I was saying things that didn't even make sense. I was just like, oh, you're so big. <laughs> She's like, what? I'm like, oh, fill up. Yeah, I was like, I'm like calling my own name out. And this, this like Uber whore was just like, wait. She was just like, wow, like she had seen it all, but she had never heard somebody call their own name. <laughs> this freak is awesome. <laughs> so yeah, so I was just like, oh. So I, I fake my orgasm. And then I immediately like run to her bathroom to like get her off of me. And uh, yeah, I know. I know with the infinity symbol, I was like, well, she might not be a whore, she might just be, like, really into math, you know? <laughs> it's possible. The jury was still out at that point, um, but then I got in her bathroom and she had a vat of that delousing powder that you would get in prison in the court. Yeah. So I deloused myself, and then I go back in there, I pass out, I wake up. Anyway, so then I have to pee, so I go to her bathroom, I'm not gonna, I probably won't get this out. But um, when I'm really hungover, I will sit on the toilet, like, front ways. And I'll just, like, rest my head. It's just a nice thing to do. So anyways, I, so I pass out on her toilet like that. And this girl wakes up, and she comes into her bathroom, and there I am, and I was having an erotic dream because I didn't get that release from earlier. So I'm just, like, on her toilet, like, oh, yeah. Oh, God, you're so big. It was... She walks in, she's like, Philip, what are you doing? I'm like, infinity badge, what time is it? She's like, it's time for you to stop fucking my toilet. Thanks everyone, I'm Philip Collins.